Oops. Alright, hello everyone, Darkseid Phil here, and welcome to the Weekend Preview. Today is Sunday, August 23rd, 2015, and boy, boy did this week turn out a lot differently than I had originally foresaw, right? Obviously not for good reasons. There's some of you who might have no idea what I'm talking about. You may be completely in the dark because maybe you only watch my vlog videos, you don't watch my gameplay, you have no idea what's been going on this week. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it in this video, because really, I've already explained it at length over on DSP Gaming. So if you want to know what's going on with Phil, I've had false copyright strikes put against both this channel, the King of Hate Vlogs, and DSP Gaming, my gaming channel, which have basically cut off my ability to live stream on YouTube. Now, it's complete horseshit. I've already had attorneys look at this. Uh, Machinima is working at it, and they've assured me there's nothing legitimate about any of these claims. They're going to be cleared up. The problem is YouTube drags their freaking feet when it comes to getting this stuff cleared up because for legal purposes, they don't want to rush through a resolution and then someone tries to sue them. So, worst case scenario, it's looking like in early September, maybe around the, the first to second week of September, maybe I'll get my live streaming capabilities back on both of these channels. Okay. It sucks. Yes, absolutely it does. But I'm not going to sit here... And stomp my feet and wave my hands around every day like a, you know, like I'm a panic-stricken fool. Uh, business goes on and life goes on. And there's no reason to stop what I'm doing just because I can't live stream. I used to do videos on YouTube from 2008 till early 2013 without ever live streaming a damn thing. So there's no reason why I can't progress on uh, in that manner. Okay? So, if you want the full skinny on everything, on what happened, check out DSP Gaming. In fact, the featured video on DSP Gaming right now is the explanation, so everyone can watch it and find out what happened. What I want to do now is give you an update on the status, and then we're going to go through this week and explain to you what I'm going to be doing this week. Because this week, ladies and gentlemen, in the good news realm, is the first week of the hardcore gaming season for 2015. Yes, the new releases hit hard starting this week. There's going to be tons of new stuff coming out. Every week, I'm very, very excited to be checking out the new games. This week in particular, there's one that really has piqued my interest. It seems to be that style of game that usually becomes a pretty epic playthrough for me. And I hope that you're going to join me for it, okay? But, before we get to that, so what what is going to happen in regards to my channels and all that? Well, the good news is I can still upload. I can still make money on videos. Nothing has prevented me from doing that. It's just that I can't live stream. The live streaming component is shut off for now, and hopefully within a week or two it'll be cleared up. Okay? That's what I'm going to be doing daily. Now, in the case that some crazy thing happens, right, that somehow another false copyright strike strikes one of my channels and shuts them down, what I've already done is talk to Machinima, and we already got a game plan in place. I have my original Dark Side Phil channel, which I could use as a backup channel, or worst case scenario, if I feel like maybe I don't want to go back to the Dark Side Phil channel, it's too much of a liability with the old, old playthroughs on there, I could make a new channel on YouTube. And I've already talked to Machinima about it, and they said, yes, we will partner you, it's not a big deal, obviously we trust you, we know who you are, and uh, you know we could use your new channel as the place where you can upload your content temporarily if something were to happen to shut down your channels. Now, the good news is I've, I've taken safeguards, I've deleted all videos that had like outside uh content in them that people would have claimed all right uh i seriously don't foresee any further false claims coming through on dsp gaming all, there's I've, I've deleted every pre-stream i deleted every freaking stream archive everything's gone that used fan art so there's no way that they could do anything over there in my knowledge uh without basically completely fooling the youtube system which hopefully will could not happen here on the king of hate vlogs yeah, every once in a while you're still going to see some content that maybe, you know, like for example, the intro to the Weekend Preview. It is what it is, you know. I like that intro. That was submitted by a fan earlier this year. That fan has never had an issue with me. I don't believe that person's ever going to claim anything. If they do, let's say for example, oh my god, if, I, that, if something really silly like that gets claimed, then I'm, that's it. That's the last straw. I will never use anything from fans again, and I apologize because I know that my fans love to interact. They love to be a part of the experience. But I gotta protect my business, you know what I mean? It's not a huge deal if the King of Hate Vlogs gets shut down because this is the vlogging channel where I do vlogging content and it's very supplementary to the gaming stuff that pays my bills. So, fingers crossed, I don't think anything's gonna happen further on this channel. Nothing else has happened since originally earlier this week when stuff happened. <clears throat> and I really, you know, I, I don't foresee it. So, <sighs> yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. So, I'm gonna continue to post videos daily like I always have. The change I'm doing... 
is that daily I'm going to post an update over on DSP Gaming to let everyone know how I'm doing, what's going on with me. Basically, I'm, it's going to be the pre-stream that I used to do before I would stream, only it's going to be a video on DSP Gaming, almost like the kind of the channel updates I used to do, uh, based in, you know, in my game console or whatever on the dashboard, uh, so that you have a daily update on me and what's going on with me and if there's any positive updates or whatever and what I'm thinking about the games I'm playing, etc. So, if daily you're interested in, gee, what's Phil up to, and you used to like to watch the pre-streams, those are going to be going live on DSP Gaming Daily. Now, the old, there, there's none today because I'm doing this week in preview. No reason for me to do a daily update when this week in preview is basically my daily update, okay? So, today the week in preview, I'm going to explain the schedule for the week. Every day you'll be able to watch all the new videos that I put out over on DSP Gaming. And there will be a special event later this week that I'm going to talk about here on the King of Hate Vlogs, okay? Alright, so now let's talk. First of all, this past week, unfortunately, was negatively affected because of all the nonsense. I had several streams that were cancelled and or shut down in the middle. And, uh, you know, there was two gameplay sessions of Just Cause 2 that I was going to do that never happened. There was an extra session of Metroid Prime that I was going to do that didn't happen, and because of that, I had to keep playing Metroid Prime at a later date. So the bottom line is this, as of right now, okay, just to give everyone to get it caught up, The Godfather did not complete, it was supposed to, it did not because Leanna got sick. Leanna is currently recovering, and yes, just so everyone knows, she's feeling much better today, her throat isn't sore anymore, but she's very congested, we're thinking we're going to finish that tomorrow. So The Godfather didn't complete, unfortunately I didn't get to play anymore, Just Cause 2 like I had wanted to. <laughs> But I did play several more sessions of Fallout New Vegas. I actually did two impromptu sessions of the Black Ops 3 beta, which was nice that I got to experience that beta, and I really enjoyed it. I put them all into one playlist on DSP Gaming for those who want to check that out. I hope you will. Uh, and I did complete Metroid Prime as of today. So Metroid Prime finished. It is in the bag. I even did a big Final Thoughts segment in the final video of that playthrough. If you want to know what I really think about the game, I hope you'll check that out. Okay. So unfortunately, of anything, the one thing that fell victim to all of this was pretty much Just Cause 2. I was going to play two more major sessions of it this week, and instead I only got to play about an hour, which, by the way, I didn't even upload those videos yet, okay? So allow me to explain what's going to happen for the rest of today, for, uh, you know, Monday through the rest of the week, because this is a weird week. We got new game releases, the hardcore gaming season starts, we've got an episode of Ask the King, we got special stuff going on later this week, so here we go. Tonight, Sunday night, obviously now I'm filming the week in preview, uh, and Metroid Prime concluded, so the, f the final videos of Metroid Prime are live and in playlist, as of the time you watch this, they should be, or shortly they'll be, or they already are, okay, um, tonight I'm going to be watching SummerSlam, the, the WWE pay-per-view on the WWE Network, <laughs> now I'm not going to be watching it live, keep in mind I'm on the West Coast, to watch it live I'd have to start watching it at like 4pm, which is not even dinner time for me yet, so I can't watch it live, but I will be watching it later tonight. And when I am, I'll be tweeting my thoughts about what we're seeing at SummerSlam as we watch it. Okay, so I'll be relaying my thoughts. A lot of people said, are you watching it? What do you think? Did you hear it's a four-hour event this year? I'll give you my thoughts about SummerSlam via Twitter at they call me DSP. And by the way, I should say this up front before we even get to the schedule. Worst case scenario, if everything ever got shut down, if DSP Gaming went away, if the King of Hate Vlogs went away... You can still follow me on Twitter at they call me DSP. That's not going to go anywhere. You can get all it's on the screen. You get all the updates about what's going on with Twitter. Uh, you know, at they call me DSP, and you can then I'll tell you, gee, I'm going to make a new channel. Let's call this. Let's go do it. That's where you can talk to me if stuff goes wrong. So I used to not have that. Now I have it. It's kind of like the lifeline to the world if everything else goes wrong. Twitter is the place to go to find out what's going on with me and daily. Uh, at night, but the last thing I really do work-wise is I post up an updated schedule there, too, so you kind of know what's going to happen the next day. So, tonight I'll be watching SummerSlam, and <clears throat> as of tonight, in fact, as soon as I finish recording this video, I'm going to set up a poll for the patrons, the July patrons, who've been nominating games all month. At this point, I think there's around maybe 10 games that were nominated. I'm going to narrow it down to games that I feel are more viable for the next Best and Worst of DSP Classics series. It's going to be a montage series I'm going to be working on, <clears throat> hopefully in the month of September. I say hopefully because we have to see what happens with everything going on with the channels and with live streaming and with the new games, too, how time-consuming they are. But I'm going to take some time out in September to work on these and hopefully get a couple montages out for everyone during that month, okay? So... The patrons will be voting on what game they want to see a montage series on. We had some good suggestions like Ghostbusters, the video game, Alan Wake, 
Um, the Ouya series that I did a couple years back playing in the indie games on the Ouya, like Amazing Frog and stuff like that. Yeah, we had some really good suggestions. So I'm going to be very interested to see what the patrons vote on over the next week. And by the end of the month, we should have an answer on what the next montage series is going to be. Okay, so that's pretty much what I'm doing today. I finished Metroid Prime, doing the week of preview, watching SummerSlam, and updating that poll. That's all for Sunday. All right. Tomorrow, Monday, as long as Leanne is feeling up to it, I've spoken with her, it seems like she will be, we're going to be completing our Godfather playthrough, which we've been doing now for a month and a half. I apologize we didn't get to finish it yesterday like we wanted to, but Leanna, you know, she had a sore throat, she couldn't talk, she was feeling under the weather. We're going to finish that off tomorrow, our first gameplay session, okay? We're going to have dinner. After dinner, I should have an hour or two where I might, if I'm feeling up to it, play a little bit more Just Cause 2 just to kind of stick the needle in it and say, okay, we're done with this game, or I guess it's not needle, stick a fork in it is the saying I was going for. Because um, I have three videos that I made the other day that I never uploaded, so maybe if I play another hour or two, I'll have a big session of videos that I could upload to DSP Gaming uh, for that. But the big thing happening Monday, this Monday, is the release of Until Dawn. Yes, it is the first official game of the hardcore gaming season. I'm very interested. Survival horror seems to be a unique style of game where certain characters could either survive or die based on your choices in gameplay. Stars a actual cast of actors, which is really neat. People are really hyping up this game. I honestly, quite honestly, have stayed away from all the hype because I don't want to spoil anything about the game. And I've kept my eyes kind of like this and my ears like this. And all I know it has Hayden Panettiere in it, and that's pretty much it. But I'm excited to see what this game is going to be. So it comes out 9 p.m. Pacific time, my time, on Monday. I'm going to be playing it. What I'm going to do is actually start playing it when it launches. I'm going to record about three hours of gameplay or so. I'm going to upload that to DSP Gaming overnight, just like I used to do, old school, right? Before I ever streamed, I used to do this and upload right away. <laughs> so those who are really interested in the game, you can watch the playthrough right away, overnight, okay? Um... When exactly I'll be uploading is dependent on a few factors. I may record for an hour and then start the uploads and then play another two hours. We'll see. All right. So I'm excited. It's a cool special event. I hope that you'll join me on YouTube and watch the videos as they go live. Apologies I can't live stream it. That was the plan all along. But hey, I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm going to just move forward positively, play the game, yada, yada, yada. Then, all day Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be playing until dawn. So it's going to be, you know, multiple sessions of me doing gameplay of Until Dawn. You'll see those going live at different times of the day on DSP Gaming. And I don't know how long the game is. All right. If it's short, maybe I'll replay it multiple times so that we can see if different characters die or live. What happens? Does it change the outcome of the game? Are there different endings? I don't know. Again, I've stayed away from it. I'm really interested to see what this game is when I finally play it tomorrow. So... That's going to be the, the majority of gameplay, like new gameplay this week. It's going to be Monday night, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You're going to see a lot of Until Dawn. This coming Thursday is Ask the King. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you can believe it, it's the end of August. And the next episode of Ask the King is going to be this coming Thursday. Again, I can't live stream it yet, but I'll be doing it just like I usually do. Three different uh, videos that I record. I'll be answering your questions from the forums. I'll be answering your questions from Twitter and Facebook. But please post up your questions on the forums. I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can go to the forums now and post up your questions. The more questions I have, the better the show is. And yes, if you were a patron in the month of July and you pledged $20 or more, please post up your questions for priority answering on thekingofhate.com. The thread's been live since the beginning of August. And it really makes sense to do it now. Get it done so you don't forget last minute. Yes, you have to post in a special thread because you will, only you people have access to post in that thread. So please do so. It's going to be a fun episode. So that's going to be earlier on in the day on Thursday. Later on in that day, I'm going to do some more gameplay. Now, if I haven't beaten until dawn yet or if I don't feel like I've done enough of the game, it'll be until dawn. If I did, it'll probably be some Fallout New Vegas. So we'll, it'll be dependent on what exactly happens during the course of the week, what that gameplay will be that'll come out on Thursday. Friday, special schedule. Again, I want to tell everyone, it's a different week this week. There's special stuff going on. My Friday this week basically is going to be like my Saturday usually is, where I'm only going to do one gameplay session, and then I'm going out to do errands and stuff, grocery shopping and the like, because this Saturday I'm going to be busy, which I'm going to explain in a moment. So this Friday, there'll be one major gameplay session. What will it be? Depends on what happens with Until Dawn this week. So if I got really far and I, you know, I beat it or whatever... It'll be Until Dawn. If not, it'll be Fallout New Vegas. So we'll see. We'll see what happens during the course of the week with the game. I can't promise you anything right now. There will be no second gameplay session on Friday. FYI. 
um, because I'm going to be going out and doing errands and stuff. Because this Saturday, when normally I would do that, it's Leanna's birthday. And we're going to be going to the city of Seattle to celebrate. We have a whole day planned out of different things we want to do. And we're going to be vlogging. So there will be no gameplay on Saturday. But when we return home, there's going to be a bunch of vlogs from our day. I don't know how many. It might be a ton. It might only be a few. We'll see how we feel and how, how, how the day goes that Saturday. So this coming Saturday, no gameplay, but... A special kind of vlogging in Seattle day. So those who like our travel vlogs, you're going to get some more this Saturday and hopefully you enjoy them. And then that's Sunday. I'm going to kind of leave wide open. I'm going to leave Sunday wide open because I don't want to promise you anything. I don't know what's going to happen with the status of the week. You know what I mean? Uh, I certainly don't want to over-promise and under-deliver. So I'm certainly not going to be promising you, oh, I'm going to be doing this, that Sunday, because I want to see what happens you know, during the course of the week. Maybe that Sunday I'll be able to finish up until dawn and review it. Right? Who knows? But this week's primary focus is until dawn. If we have extra time, it'll be focused on Fallout New Vegas continuing. Okay? So that's the gameplay of this week. Now, there's some other stuff going on this week as well. First of all, I have two collectibles up for sale. One is a replica of the Plasma Cutter tool from the Dead Space games. And another is a full-scale replica of the Portal Gun from the Portal games. These are up for auction right now. And I can tell you right now... Tons of action. People are excited for these. The portal gun's up to $220, and the uh, plasma cutter is now up to $270. So, actually, I take that back. I think the portal gun's $225. I have to double check, but pretty decent amounts for these replica things. Now, these are cool because they're perfect for cosplay. They're perfect just as collectibles. They're cool for, you know, costumes. I've had them laying around. I don't want them anymore. Quite frankly, I could use the money on better stuff like paying off debts. So that's why they're up for sale. If you're interested, check out the videos right here on the King of Hate Vlogs. In the videos, there's instructions on what you can do in order to bid on those. Please read because I'm getting people who are not listening and I can't take them seriously. You know, it says specific instructions in the video of how to place a bid. If you're going to message me on Instagram, I want to bid on a gun. No, that's not what the instructions were. The instructions are very clear in the videos. Watch the videos. Based off those, please submit bids, and we'll go from there. This coming weekend, there'll be a new item. This Saturday, I'm going to probably... Well, I take it back. It won't be Saturday, because Saturday we're going to be out with Leanna. Probably this Sunday, I'm going to list a new item up for sale here on the King of Hate Vlogs. This one will be one of my statues, and it's highly sought after. So... If you're interested in buying a statue, people have actually messaged me about this one in the past. I said, when are you going to sell it? This coming Sunday, so a week from today, I'll be posting it up for auction, and you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled for that, okay? Now, things might change this week. Machinima is actively working to get things undone, all this nonsense that happened to me undone. If that happens during the course of the week, Obviously, I'll let you know because obviously I want to get live streaming again, right? I've been live streaming for two years, over two years now, and I enjoy it. And people really like the, the, the experience of it. We love the stream chat and, you know, everything, the interactivity. It's awesome. And people have already said to me these past few days, Phil, you know, I feel like there's something missing because I can't watch you play live. And I apologize, but, you know, we know who the blame is at. I'm not going to go into detail about it again. Uh, if things change and I have good news, I'll let everyone know. Whether it's, again, Twitter, I'll make a video about it so you know that live streaming is returning. But I'm certainly I'm not going to promise you things when I don't know when that's going to happen. All right, There may be good news. Machinima is actively working with YouTube to get things reversed quicker than just the freaking two weeks you normally have to wait for false copyright strikes. We'll see what happens. All right, I am feeling positive. Fingers crossed. Arms crossed. Toes crossed. Everything crossed. That all the nonsense gets cleared up. And we can get back to business as usual, because let's face it, we've got lots of stuff coming up. Now, one thing I want to mention about the stuff coming up. Metal Gear Solid 5 and Mad Max both come out September 1st, which is the first Tuesday of September. Next week, a week from, you know, not this week, but the week after. I'm going to get them both digitally on PlayStation 4. I've decided I'm not going to get physical copies of either. Now, I'd like to do a special launch night event, but I'm not going to do either. Or not going to do both, is what I meant to say. I'm going to do one or the other. According to PlayStation Network, only Mad Max is available at 9 p.m. my time. So if that's the case, if only Mad Max is available at 9 p.m., I'll be playing that one as an early special event like I'm doing with Until Dawn this week. If Metal Gear Solid 5 is available then, I will do that instead. But according to PlayStation Network, it lists it that Metal Gear Solid 5 isn't available until midnight Pacific time, which makes no effing sense at all. Why? If every other game does a 9 p.m. midnight release, why is Metal Gear Solid 5 different? It doesn't make sense. Now, I've heard rumors that that was a misprint and that it will be available at midnight Eastern, which would mean 9 p.m. this time. We'll see. I'll give you more information on that as we get closer. I don't, again, 
that's all in, in the future, but some people have already been asking me, when are you playing what? And I can't really answer. I'll just tell you, I am getting the digital version, so I am available to play special events that night, uh, depending on what is actually available. And, of course, that first week of September will be insanely busy just between those two games, me playing the heck out of them, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, lastly, I went to GameStop uh, yesterday, and I reserved a bunch of games. And it was kind of funny because... I walked in and I said, listen, I got this huge list of games I want to reserve, but I'll tell you, there's a lot of games I reserved for this year that I got the digital versions on PSN. I didn't come to pick them up here, so I've got tons of credit. And he actually went in the system. I had like $50 of credit, no lie. So it was probably anywhere from like 5 to 10 games, including Batman and Witcher 3 and other stuff that I had reserved that I never picked up. So he just applied those to the new games. I reserved all the games for the season that I decided I'm not going to get digitally. So just to let you know, the ones I'm definitely getting digitally are Fallout 4. I'm going to get that on Xbox One. Metal Gear Solid 5, Mad Max. I'm getting those digitally. Um, I'm probably going to get... Where is it? I'm looking here. Uh, what is the name of that game? Um, Actually, no. I think that's it, really. Cause, oh, and Call of Duty. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I'm probably going to just get digital. Because what I've decided to do is games that I know I'm going to be playing at length, games that I know I'll be playing future DLCs, uh, I'm just going to get them digitally because I'm not going to trade the games in. Or, you know, what's the point of holding on to the game disc and trade it in a year later or six months later and it's worth $5, you know? It's more of a hassle than anything else. And I'll be honest, I love the fact that we're in the digital age and you can get everything digitally now. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Uh, all the other games, I got physical copies. Because a lot of those games, I'll probably play them within a week or two. I'll be done with them. I'm not going to be playing them again. I'll trade them in and get a lot of money back for future releases. Okay. So, that's what I did at GameStop. A lot of people have been messaging me. Phil, why aren't you going? Why aren't you doing Best Buy and why aren't you doing this? I've already explained these things. You know, a lot of people are saying if you go to Best Buy, you do the Best Buy Club, right, for your game reserves. That's very... It's good. You get 20% off all new releases. That's great. But is Best Buy going to be open at 10 in the morning, ready to let me in and have all the games readily available at 10 for the launch of a new game. You know what I mean? Does Best Buy even do midnight releases? No. Most Best Buys do not do midnight releases. So, there you have it. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you're saving money, maybe a little bit, by getting new releases at Best Buy as long as you're not, you don't need to get the game as early as possible so you can start playing and get the videos up like I do. You know, GameStop has been my go-to place. Oh, by the way, I also have a ridiculous amount of points at GameStop saved up right now. Over 200,000 of their points, which I'm probably going to be using to buy games this summer. Or this summer. This uh, season. This fall gaming season. I've got over $200 in credit if I redeem my points that I'll probably use to get a bunch of games. So, in that regard, you know, it makes sense for me to keep going to GameStop. But, in the future, may I? May, maybe I'll go to Best Buy. And people, oh, you saved so much money. Yeah. But honestly, understand that for the normal gamer, right, the normal person, I'm just going to pick up the game and play it after work or school. Me, it's not. I have to get it right away. I have to be out the, in and out the door, boom, 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 and home playing. That's a lot different than the normal person who's just going to go out casually during the day and pick up the game and save a couple bucks because they got it at Best Buy. So that's why I haven't taken advantage of that yet. A lot of people keep asking me. That's why I wanted to explain in this video. So there's a lot going on this week. Let's face it, a lot going on. Let me summarize in a nutshell. Cannot stream. If I can stream at any point during this week, if things change, I'll let you know. If not, we're going back to old school where I just record everything without streaming and I upload it directly to my YouTube channels. Okay? Worst case scenario, if something goes horribly wrong this week and a channel gets shut down, app they call me DSP, ladies and gents. All right? App they call me DSP to get more information on what I'll be doing next. If I'm making a new channel or moving to another channel, yada, yada, yada. Okay? Gameplay-wise this week. <clears throat> We're going to have the conclusion of The Godfather. Maybe some Just Cause 2 tomorrow. Until Dawn, special event tomorrow night. Continuing throughout the week, it'll be the major focus. Ask the King happening on Thursday. There may be some more Fallout New Vegas. There's going to be a day when I'm doing vlogging in Seattle with Leanna to celebrate her birthday. So a lot of content is going to be coming out over the course of the week. In addition to that, there'll be a new statue for sale this coming weekend. And the Portal Gun and the Plasma Cutter are currently up for sale. Patrons should keep their eyes open if you pledged in July because you're going to be able to vote on what games you want to see in the best and worst of DSP Classics coming up in September for the next week. I'm going to create the poll as soon as I'm done with this video. Last but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you to those of you who were putting up with this nonsense, those who are trying to be... Some people are saying, Phil, what can we do to support you? What can we do to help you in this time of need when you can't live stream and things are looking bad? Listen, 
the most I could ever expect from you guys and gals is just to keep watching the content and enjoying it, right? Spread the word, just like you always have. Hey, Phil's a great gamer. Don't listen to the nonsense. Check him out. And that's how I've always been successful, you know? Some people are, oh, I want to donate to a legal fund. Listen, forget about all that. If ever I do decide to take assholes to court, I'll let you know. At this point, I'm just moving forward positively and trying to create new content. It's the most that I can do. I will say this. Thank you, people. Some people who this week, you know, pledge to Patreon. It helps. It absolutely helps. And if you do pledge in the next week, because there's only one week left to pledge to my August Patreon, all right, you're going to be able to vote, nominate and vote on the games I'll be playing in an indie mini marathon, indies games, mini marathon at the end of September. So you want to see me play Papers, Please? You want to see me play a totally new game or return to an old game? You're going to have that control if you pledge this month. One week left to do that over here on Patreon. So just pointing that out, you know, check it out. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, understand you get cool perks and stuff too already. Some people have been saying, oh, this is cool. I'll get a shirt. I'll get a Q&A video this month because Phil really needs the help because he can't stream. And I, I'll be honest, yeah. You know, in, in times of, of shit that's going on like this, this helps. Absolutely, this is allowing me to get through these not this nonsense because right now I'm, I am you know you take a look oh gee are the videos getting more views of course not I'm playing downtime games I'm not playing new games I don't know how until dawn's going to turn out this week but this month in particular has been crap because it's been all downtime games right outside of Fallout New Vegas which a lot of people seem to be interested in outside of that nothing's really getting much attention there have been no new releases this month typically this gets turned around come September October but yeah this helps absolutely this helps so check it out. Thank you to those of you who have pledged so far. For those who do pledge in the next week, you only have a week left. You got to hurry up if you want to get in on the stuff for August, okay? All right, that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching the Re Week in Preview. Thanks for being patient with all the nonsense going on. Tomorrow, I'll have a new daily update for you explaining everything that's happening, you know, with, uh, with, with uh, updates. And if there are any updates, which hopefully there will be, we'll see. And we'll go from there, all right? Peace out, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And now, without further ado, of course... Thank you to the following July patrons. I will see you tomorrow for new gameplay, and I'm very excited for the first release until dawn. And uh, that's it. Peace out, everyone. Ha! I'm talking during these thank you credits. You thought I wouldn't, but I'm doing it as a secret Easter egg for those of you who actually watch them, which is probably no one. So in a, se in a sense, I'm talking to myself. I'm all by myself. I don't want to be all by... All right, thanks to all the viewers, and thanks to the July patrons.